Oh, you kidding me? With your wealth of knowledge? How the hell can I cast this up? You know? So, uh, so you guys are retired political history teachers. Absolutely. I've struck gold. From Chicago. From Chicago of all places. When did you retire? I retired in 2010. 2010? 2012. You're the, I'm just asking you a question. The tr I'm, I'm talking about possibly not seeing an election. What do you guys see in all this? Do you think that my prediction that you might be looking at assassination of Trump and an indictment of Hillary Clinton and, and uh, Barack Obama and the retaining office? Well, knowing our history, I don't put anything back past the powers that be. Yeah. We have gone this way before. We have seen these kinds of things before. So yeah. I would not be surprised. 9-11 is a blatant example, right? My, my, my thoughts is um, a lot of times I don't have confidence in people because they're easily led astray. I don't think anything is going to happen in this election but the seed is going to land. Really? You think we have that much time? Yeah, I think we got a few years. But the seed's planted and I don't think you can put the genie back. Oh, no, no. That's And that's why I see the rush. I see that, I mean, the, the tyrants themselves say they're about 15 years behind their schedule. And thanks to the internet, thanks to guys like, let's say, Trump, who right, they didn't expect. I mean, they weren't expecting Trump. No, they weren't. They were trying to keep people bottled in that you can't afford to get in here club. Just in case, we have passports and passports for our grandchildren. Where would you go? We, that we're, that's in the planning stage. We yeah, the, the problem is, is well, first of all, we're people of color. So there's no true home for us, maybe someplace in Africa. Yeah, but the problem with this is, is once we go skinny, the rest of the world stops. I mean, they, it, it's a global revolution. <laughs> but I, I know survivalists have been playing it for these days for 35 years. Absolutely. I mean, they've carved out mountains. And so, I mean, they're, the elites themselves have underground bunkers. I mean, We've seen the documents. Yeah. And the internet. Yeah, yeah indeed, uh, yeah. But you still have hope. You think they're not rushing it? You don't think they're right? I mean, I, I think they're I didn't say hope. Aubrey, I'm going in the hot sauce yeah. store. Okay. I didn't say hope. I I don't yeah, think we'll that that day is this year. Mm. It may be 2018, 2020, 2022. I people, hope they stave people, it off a little bit more. I don't, people I'm are, not ready for People are slow learners, but they're learning. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I'm testament that I'm out here, and I mean... Uh, I'm in the chocolate city doing this. I want to ask, a, uh, do you think I can get away with this up in Chicago? Oh, yeah. Really? Absolutely. I asked a couple of Absolutely. Chicago ones out there that, 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 Absolutely. Uh, last week. Conspiracy says, theorists. Oh, yeah, for about 10 minutes. No, <laughs> no, no. Chicago is... Uh, See, we've been there. We've oh, yeah. traveled this road. <laughs> oh, yeah. We live on the south side, so... Yeah. All right. We're all the crime. We need change. Revolution. Oh, we're going to have a, I thought the way I see it, we're going to have a revolution. If they, if they go ahead and steal the nomination from Trump, we might see a revolution that day. They bring it on. Yeah. If they, if they steal the election or assassinate him here, we might see a revolution. If they, uh, I mean, if they, and if he gets in, we're going to see a revolution. So I can't see any way we're going to avoid major upheaval here shortly. Will the change? Yes. I'll give you an example of why. It's a timing of it. 